Right, I was born in a little town, Benoni, in South Africa. It's about 20 miles from Johannesburg. In 1956, following his Zionist upbringing and in the spirit of adventure, Morris took his family on Dalia and landed on a deserted cliff at Bet Yanai. After several creative entrepreneurial attempts, which included a bicycle company, the first skiing resort on Mount Hermon, and the largest cattle ranch in the Middle East, Morris and his partners established Israel's Golden Pages, and under the wings of OREC, some of Israel's leading communication and high-tech companies. That's Morris. He will never let his fingers go instead of him. He will always go instead of his fingers. You know, my mentor, David Ben-Gurion, used to say that all experts are experts for things that did happen. There are no experts for things that may happen. Morris is an expert for things that may happen. In 1972, while a lot was struggling economically, Morris initiated in the city the world's first underwater observatory. Over the years, Morris Kahn has sponsored hundreds of projects, backed tens of causes, and established several significant philanthropic organizations. Everyone should imitate people like Maurice Kahn for the state of Israel. They are the future of science. They are the future of advancement. They are the future of everything. His keen interest and commitment to science has enabled cutting-edge research and innovation in Israel's pioneering scientific laboratories and institutions. The future Nobel Prize will come from these young people that Maurice Kahn investing. There is no doubt about it. Morris's passion for nature and the environment has led him to create Salul, an NGO that successfully promotes environmentally sound policies towards Israel's rivers and seas. His commitment to Israel's future has led him to join his partner Shmuel Meitar in Time to Know, which creates a meaningful and engaging learning environment by developing an interactive core curriculum and a digital teaching platform. Education is the key to our future, and education of the youth is the place to start. Seeking to lay the ground for the next generation of leadership, Morris established LEAD, a youth leadership development program. I have no doubt that they will actually be leaders of the future. They will make their contribution to making Israel an environmentally cleaner country, a more civil country, and hopefully a less corrupt country. We have to realize that we're part of a big community, that we have to do what we can to help others. By doing that, we help ourselves. And my advice to you would be, get involved. 